Hello, I am back and hopefully this will work. Uh, Comcast gave me nothing. But I restarted my router. Welcome to the stream. I was being funky. Like the vibe. If you're watching I think we're back. On YouTube, Thank you for being here. Early like Utopians. <laughs> Early Utopians. Early Utopians. Vodders. Thank you. Thank you. Now be a good chatter and don't be a peep. Michael, what's up, Luke? Bigs. No drop frames. That's good. That's good. That's the thing that we love to see. Just finished the Straw Fall TV show. I'm four episodes in. Don't spoil anything or I'll fight you. I also agree it's really good. I hope you like the vibe, Bigs. My favorite Bigs. thing about the Fall show Bigs. is that it does a lot Bigs. of fad, fan service, but it doesn't rely on fan service. Fan service is just like a little treat. On YouTube, it's, like it's hard to do, subscribe. but they nailed it somehow or another. Welcome to the show. All stream. right, look like all I everything's good. Like I hope you're all are excited. You're watching on YouTube. Connor, like what's up? Big subscribe. sausage. We're gonna play some games. Too We're spooky. Some the legendary tier three. Thank you, thank Binks. you for the continued Binks. support. Binks, 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 and don't be a piece. I'm watching X Men '97. I am. It's also very good. I hope you like the vibe, Binks. Come here. Binks. What up? What up? What up? Binks, Binks, Casper, friendly ghost. A little desperate sounding, but if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Binks, 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 Binks. I hope you like the Binks, Binks. I'm excited. We have fun deck today. Thank you for being here. Hello, hello. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you're doing well. Early Sunday, a little bit late, most people would say, but uh, you know, it depends depends on where you're at in the world, I suppose. Oh, there is a new There's a new song. Uh, from Ramesses B that I want. Made a Hell Divers drum and bass. Maybe it's not on Spotify. I'll, I'll get it on the playlist eventually. Thank you for being here. We have a Sand Doom deck, uh, which is very exciting. It's a Sandman Leader Doom Finisher type deck. Uh, with the rest of the cards, just really focused on getting priority. I haven't decided if I want Gladiator or Zemo yet. Still trying to decide. But I think US Agent's okay. Uh, nothing you need to focus on uh, to grab by any means. I had it in my Burst C3 deck yesterday. I felt like it was really nice. Um, it could be a pretty good standard tribunal counter. Like when they're a very standard tribunal deck, they're not the Hella version. Still gets kind of dumpstered by the Hella version most of the time. And had some troubles with Hella for sure. Uh, but this deck was a lot of fun. I think it's like okay in some decks, but in general, it's not really worth grabbing. It, it doesn't really define any archetypes. It's just like a card that might be like the 11th or 12th best card in a couple of decks. Certainly something you can you can pass on. Uh, yeah, I'm excited too. I'm excited. I'm, I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, my least favorite thing about streaming is tech issues. Tech issues are the most annoying thing in the world. Because uh, there's something you can't control, especially ones you can't control. Like if it's a tech issue or something that I did, I get it. And I can get better and do it. But, like when Comcast just shits out on me when I try and start the stream, I it it, it gets me tilted, man. It's insanely tilted. What's up, Dom John? What's up, Ted Ted? 
I'll pause the next one for a change. Yeah, maybe. A lot of, I, you know what kind of annoys me? A lot of people were really hating on them changing Apocalypse and not Hella. And I think at the time that was the correct move. Because uh, it was, Apoc was, like, re standard discard was just simply better. And Hella, Hella definitely can feel very, very hard to beat. You kind of have to run counters for it. Uh, but let's not delay. We're, I mean, obviously we started late already and then we had to push a whole nother half hour. So, um... Let's uh, let's try and get into some content here. I'm I'm really excited to play the Sand Doom deck. Uh, I've I've had it cooking for a while, and I haven't uh, jumped in and started playing it. But this is where I think the new Sandman can be best. Is in a, a deck like this. Super aggressively fight for priority. Lock the opponent out with um. Lock the opponent out with Sandman. And then use Doomer Leader to get over top. Monster Island, we do have Sean in the deck. Uh, Angela is wonderful. I do want to put her right. Maybe I should have put Nebula right to start so that I can't get screwed over if this is something that I really don't want it to be. Oh, that's not one of those. Let's get our Angela pumping. Thank you. Doom rules all. That's very nice of them. Super kind of our opponent to do that for us. You always wondered that I was one of the few other Sandman Endurers? Uh, you've not been watching my content, brother. I've been a Sandman Endurer for a very long time. Oh, Chad, I got this. That's exciting. I wonder if I just Sandman now because it's the best card available. I think I just do. Like, my other play is just to Medusa Middle, and I don't really like that. We want to move leader in case they play their card right. Or we want to move Jeff just in case they play their card right. What you got for me? A Loki. Okay. Honestly, not too shabby. Uh, and I think we do have this Marvel active, right? Um, two, one, six, four, five, one, six, two. Obviously, we can move Nightcrawler. No, we can't move Nightcrawler, actually. Uh, if they can find a way to beat this, good on them, I, I suppose. <laughs> That's how you get casserole. The Miss Marvel Dream, yeah, it's, uh, I wasn't really setting up for that to happen, but I'm, I'm happy that, I, that it worked out the way it did. What a, what a good start to the deck, look at that. This casserole's going. Uh, really surprised that, uh, you know, in my opinion, if you're the opponent, you Gladiator of Doom, they snap. You just spent your three energy to give your opponent two power. You should just run, man. I, I think it's hard sometimes. Like, you can like, 
feel invested in games, but I mean, that's like a really big whiff. <laughs> you played negative two power that turn. That's pretty good. Yo, Sticky Eye! The legend. You would have moved Jeff left and played Jeff mid as a joke. <laughs> just, just for funsies. Hmm. 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 And we could set up. Just munch on some vibranium. Not really care. Next two turns, just play whatever we draw. Then set up for like Sandman into like Jeff Marvel. Be pretty good. It's so weird that the left Mysterio can get left. I guess it makes sense, like from a coding perspective. But, but it's always pissed me off a little. Okay, moving the Mysterio is quite nice. Any alternatives for Gladiator? Yeah, you can try Zemo. See, I've been considering Zemo, but it has a little tension with Leader. So I decided not to. let this nebula die. Maybe you could just let it die. Sandman would like Jeff Vibranium left? Oh, I can't do that, right? Because you can't play Jeff first, and if you play Jeff first, then you can't play something second. You can't play something left first. What a conundrum. Maybe we'll lock them out of left. Okay, I think we'll probably lock them out of left here. They gain plus two left, but we're gonna get more than plus two left. Come on. I don't think they can get plus eight. Yeah, it's not plus eight, it's only plus five. Yeah. Very nice. Victory. Jeff and Sandman, the legendary duo strikes again. Yo, Zachary! Thank you so much for the 10 month. Thank you, thank you. Uh, pretty good start, eh? Pretty good start there, eh? Two very solid wins. Can I get some 07s for Nebula? Nebula was a trooper that game. We couldn't have done it without her. I, I, Nebula, she, she had to do what had to be done. She knows her mission. She, she took an L herself, but she won one for the team, and we we care about that. We care about that in this house. How does Sam and War Machine work together? Um, you can just do whatever you want if you War Machine the turn before. But you can't play them on the same turn, usually, right? Uh, Medusa is another card I might not want in the deck. But she's a nice, just proactive hunk of stats to throw down. Really need to get Jeff um, soon. Mm. 
Very funky locations. UFC 300 was so awesome. Yes, that was one of uh, that was the best uh, live sporting event I've seen. I think maybe ever. Uh, unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. All right, I've, what 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 on earth do we do, chat? Is the the question. It's like playing this marble middle makes no sense because we're not going to do anything over there anyway. Playing her right also makes no sense, but she's more stats than Shang Chi. Wakanda forever. I don't know what their plan is. But I don't know what our plan is, is the problem. Snap. Same man left? Victory. Yeah. And we have the space to put the Doombot, I guess. I mean, that's just correct. Or you just snap and they leave. You know, you have plenty of, plenty of odds. Miss two power? Did I miss two power? Or did I play right hoping my opponent would play right? and then take a 50-50 on which card would move and got the unfortunate side of the 50-50. Yeah, it probably was just same man left was a little bit better. cards thanks for tricking and watching NL uh, NL is the most entertaining person in the world so anyone who watches NL is lucky enough to, to, to do so I do Hobgoblin, but they can't play it this turn. Chance I uh, fill. Ah, oh, well, they'll, they'll know if I fill now. Yeah, I think I'm cooked. I, I can't fill. I just don't think there's a way I could realistically win here. Average enemy to car versus my scar? Yeah, that one hurts a little bit. Would have helped us get Marvel last turn? Would it have? Or would it have been the exact same outcome? Are you saying would it have helped? Not it would have helped. I'm dyslexic, sorry. Uh, no, I think you just play out because you have to put yourself in a position to fill. Obviously, them having uh, Daredevil kind of checkmates you no matter what you do. But you have to put yourself in position to fill for sure. Otherwise, you're in tons of trouble. Porter probably should have snapped that to Galactus Landon. Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't know. They have no idea what deck I was, so be a little bit hard I probably would have snapped um, I probably would have snapped in that position though I 
dun, dun. Punch. Oh, sand. Oh, sand sucks, man. Uh, this is really not good. And this is probably fine. They do have a big Red Hulk, though. Lest we not forget, chat. They do have a big Red Hulk. There was a... Uh, uh, <laughs> you didn't like our Vibranium duel where we just kept getting Vibranium? I thought it was fun, Sticky Eye. This is, this is where you have to look at like this Doc Ock. Because um, a lot of people complain about this deck, right? A lot of people complain about this Mill Doc Ock type deck. But I, I really don't because I don't think the deck's that good. <laughs> I think it's, it does this a lot. <laughs> I think that this happens like a lot uh, when you play this deck. Come on, dude. Fig figure it out, frags. <laughs> <laughs> it's just leave, man. What are you, what are you cooking up? That's gonna beat this. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> let me, uh, let me, let me on to the next one. No, that could be annoying. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's a bit of a feels bad deck, but I mean, from the moment that like Zemo came out and people started playing it, I've, I've had the exact same thought process behind it. It's just like, it's an okay deck that can feel bad sometimes, but like uh, the, the big thing, like I feel like this problem happens with like Weird World and District X a lot, where people are like, oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. And Regis puts it really well. It says, he says it's happening to your opponent too. It's happening to your opponent too, man. Like I know it sucks for you, but you have to realize that it sucks for your opponent and, and like use that as like a, um, what do you call it? It's like a way, it's like a guide to how to play. And it's like, you know, when like one of those decks, like sometimes they crush you, man. Sometimes they absolutely decimate you. They magic, they fulfill a lane, they have all your cards and, and it sucks ass, dude. I'm not gonna pretend like it doesn't. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Just helping them spread their cards out, man. No Sandman, huh? Set up for Miss Marvel. I we can't Miss Marvel middle. Just no reason to set up for this. Um, I mean, we're probably cooked. If we can stay behind, we can Sean left on the final turn and maybe have something. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. So if they play left this turn, they don't add any points right. I think Sandman can cook them. They play right, yeah, we're, we're probably just screwed. I am Especially Iron that. Man. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely screwed. The idea here is if we do this and they have like this four and it's against a one and a seven, their inkling might just be to play surfer right. And then we could sneak that away with Shang-Chi left. But, uh, I mean, clearly we're ludicrously cooked here. Why Spidey in this deck? It just has really good synergy with Angela.
Wave Doom, Sammy, Leader Lash. I don't think Wave is worth it. Uh, I'm sure that can win you games, but it can also like lose you games or just rot in your hand. Um, so I, I don't know if I would want to play Wave in this deck. I can see it being pretty good. I don't believe anyone else exists. Everything's just happened to me. Go to therapy, man. I don't know. The, the sad truth is, if you think that you're the only one exists and everyone else is fake, you spend your time watching someone who's fake, man. That's crazy. Maybe I should have just Nebula left. I, ge I generally like nebula in Jotunheim. So, so, like, my original thought process behind this deck was to be much more tempo-focused. I didn't really have the Angela stuff. I just had really high power cards. And then I've kind of melded it with um, the Silky Smooth variation that... Um, nah, we don't want Craven for sure. You, you don't get enough payoff for Craven to be worth. Okay. They might just Surfer here. If I was the opponent, I would just rip the Surfer. You're crazy for that. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. You're legit kind of nutty for that one. Snap. They can't Wong Tiger Odin. Like if they try and set up like play like Sarah or something. I mean, obviously Sam and just cooks them. Silence! Oh my gosh, they're gonna silence my unreveal card. It is hard to forget. It's always weird when um, it's always weird when things change and you're so used to like something being bad. In 2x speed on accident, you're trying to play me in 2x speed. I I've, I've talked about this before. Um, I cannot do that. I I cannot listen to anything at any increased speed. I think it. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's like. I, honestly, like, I I don't know. I'm not a fucking scientist. I feel like it messes with people's brains, man. I feel like if you get used to listening to people talk at, like, 2x or, like, 1.5 speed, wouldn't that, like, mess with, like, your normal human interactions? Am I, am I crazy for thinking that? Like, I feel I, I, like humans aren't meant to do that. Yes, but people talk too slow. <laughs> Both of you to assume we have normal human interactions. That's a good point. Hmm, a soul stone. You can see how people get used to it eventually. Yeah, but if you get... The, my point is, if you get used to it... Like, if you get used to it, doesn't that mess with you just talking to, like, another human? 1.1? I can maybe understand 1.1. 1. 1. 
So it's, people also talk about like 1.25 isn't nearly as bad. I, I guess I get that. I don't know, man. I feel like every person you talk to, if they're a slow talker, that's just like, that's part of them. Like that's part of like who they are and how they do things. In a way, it's beautiful. I really wish I could play this dang Sandman on Curve, man. It's a learning podcast book video. You go 1.5 or 1.75. It's humorous or entertainment. I go normal speed. That's that's I like I I understand that I'm kind of in like the minority of people because I feel like a lot of people do it. Maybe not minority, but. I know that a lot of people do it. Just uh, it's a little little funkadacious to me. Oh, snap. Uh, we're cooked if they have like rogue. I don't think enchantress is that bad, but rogue could be a problem. I guess rogue won't help them right. Probably also depends on how people like their music. Some music naturally is very fast speaking, so people tend to turn up podcast speed higher. It's kind of like skimming through a book. I guess, but it's like, it's not a book. It's someone talking. <laughs> you listen to three, like three X is crazy, dude. Three X is crazy, man. I mean, I guess like we're getting like, maybe that's like a, you know, fundamental part of like thinking about like the ascendance of humans to an extent. Still, it's still, it's, Crazy to me though. <laughs> you only know Rouge. I know. I just I'm watching the X Men show, so I keep forgetting. Order matters here. Oh, it does. Yeah. Uh, Soulstone first would have been better for sure. Good call out. Man, you're staying on this, huh? Hi, Nightcrawler! It's actually really important. They can't move, though, can they? Good luck, dude. Yeah, nothing moves. You need to beat plus 11 points right and plus... Four points left. Leader mid? No, no point in leadering mid. Doom uh, Doom, Doom's just a much better play. Uh, if we had Sandman then, then, then leader could, could be fine. Don't forget to put your outro music next time. I know. Like, you know what? You know what really matters is that that means that people watch the whole video when they get upset about it. You know what probably happened? So I put the create, I put like the Mario Paint music at the beginning. And the Mario Paint music is way louder than all the other background music I did. So I think what ended up happening is I put that Mario background music in and then I, like, I tried to turn it down, but I was still clicked in my video editing software onto the outro. Doing the outro is the second to last thing I do. Adding the intro music is the first thing I do. So I think I was still clicked on it and I turned the volume down and I was like, why is this still so loud? And then I clicked it and then it was, oh, I never turned it down. But I did actually turn it down. I just turned on the wrong one. Peace. Is that a, did I casserole them? It was a casserole. That's true. Hmm, casserole. So good. You don't know I'm the hot location or something? What's going on? Isn't there a hollow? It's hello. It's hollow, right? If I play this now, it goes to zero. Like, I don't, there's no reason to do that, right? We do want tempo, though. This deck's all about tempo. I felt special when you personally told me you might have muted it. Well, thank you for pointing it out. I love when uh, people point things out to me. It helps me be better. All right, can I get some 07s from Medusa? I just set up their multiple man for them. Oh, thank you. That was awful. 
What a disaster. What an absolute disaster. You will point out my... No, okay. It, don't point out my playing mistakes. I understand I make playing mistakes all the time. Trust me. I'll get friggin' YouTube comments from seven-year-old videos timestamping asking why I didn't make a different play, man. Don't worry. I've, I'm, I'm yelled at about my plays all the time. I have enough of that. But if there is a, a editing error... Hey, it's game best. What's up, Shawnee? Meow. Maybe crossbones in the spell? Mmm. Mmm. I don't think so. I could charge up a Medusa, but I think that's probably bad. Make the biggest Medusa ever. Probably should have played Jeff. Where does he isn't the worst energy to power ratio? I don't know what that I don't know what you're saying. Long time viewer, you know the reason I made you want to start playing Marvel Snap again after a year? Yo, Pog. I will never forgive you that because you made me not realize what I destroyed. Oh, I destroyed their Hope Summers. Pog. Um, we'll probably not die. Well, it was a lot. Maybe they kill us and then we just leave immediately. Just forging all his cards. <gasps> Stat strong. We love a stat, Sean. Ooh, we actually have a pretty big problem. They could just slam Red Hulk left. This solves quite a few problems. They can't just kitty task, it's just it's not enough points. Any task is just not enough. I was thinking it might be like Jeff Metal, Red Hulk left. This still beats that. It's pretty solid. Doom rules all. Ah, very smart. Very smart play, Cam. Jeez. Yeah, I had a leader play around that. I would get, um, no problem is I would just get one seven power kitty. It just, it just wouldn't work. Very, very smart play by, by Cam. Like a level two or level three read.
I played around Jeff Middle, I just didn't play around Jeff Wright. Do I think he did this because you played Sean? Uh, no, it was just their best line. The what was what was good about what they did was not going for middle, going for Jeff Wright. That was a good misdirection. Very good misdirection. I mean, it, 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 it crushed me. Would have played differently if we didn't know I had Shane. Oh, I had priority. It didn't matter. I, I do not think it changed this play now. Just a really, really solid misdirect. Pump up the vault. Get out of here, gladiator. Aha, your hood will not die, you piece. Now you're stuck with your stupid, smelly hood. How does that make you feel? I think it's just glad middle. Super giant, huh? Uh, luckily, we can take Pryo. Just depends if we want it or not. I'm gonna play a five here, it kinda sucks. There's some kind of super Shuri deck, like Taskmaster mid, big card right is really scary. Maybe you can misdirect with the Jeff. Do I want priority next turn? Not really, right? Let's misdirect with the Jeff. We still win by like one point. <laughs> Successful misdirection. Can't take prior, I could have moved Nightcrawler right. Successful misdirection. Uh, th did it have any effect on it? I don't know. I'd like to think it did though. That was some hard math to do on the spot. <laughs> Stuff like that is like very, very rare that you can do in Marvel Snap. Get wrecked, get out of the stream if you're here. Best of luck to you. Opponent snapped. Get wrecked playing Mobius. I'm uh, banning him in my chat. I actually want to move into there. The ideal. Someone else would have tried to leer their Annihilus? Uh, you, you couldn't. They played it on turn 5, not turn 6. Are you saying like that? Like, I, and I also didn't had no idea that they were a junk deck, really, right? You're gonna do it on curve, aren't you, Get Wrecked?
Right, we can win middle pretty consistently with Shang-Chi. We just have to find another lane we can win somehow. I know he's su he's such a cheater. He get he gets the perfect line. He gets to play Phoenix Force on three. Are you kidding me? What deck did I use for climbing this season? I I use different decks every every day. So there's no specific deck that I will generally like quote unquote climb for. What is he cooking over here? He's keeping his multiple men under 10, maybe. It's kind of his thing. I just hard call out Arnim Zola middle. Like a boss. Did nothing. The madman did nothing. Are you even allowed to just do nothing? Gladiator could actually be pretty devastating, Escape. potentially. The problem is I have no lanes to go after. Like if there was like a lane I could maybe land a, um, there's like a lane I could land a really solid, um, flat on, we could do it. Doing <laughs> nothing feels illegal. I'm not probably then. Uh, no, there, uh, get Rock plays Loki for us, so you can't fit Heimdall on that. Uh, if you go to the first episode of the off-meta report, if you scroll down to my channel, uh, and only for the moment, I'll, I'll do more eventually, but uh, I feature that one in there. It's really cool. Very, very unique deck. Yeah, this, the Snow Guard is because it's Loki. It's a hybrid deck. Probably worse than either Loki or Phoenix Force, but very, very fun. I mean, we know they're gonna play Sarah, so we should just soul crush them with Sandman, right? Snap. How do you use restream? I, I don't have time to do IT for you, brother. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Uh, lots of resources online to figure that out. You got there. It's not a Sarah. What is going on?
I'm so I'm so good. Why are they playing so fast? What is happening, dude? <laughs> what was I just playing against? That person's a maniac. <laughs> it's not a, but there's no bots in infinite. They just, they were playing so fast. I just, I kept playing my turns faster and faster to see if I could beat him, man. That's <laughs> so weird. It felt very bot-like, I agree. It was, it was very weird. I don't, I don't know, man. Thanks for the cues. Almost top 1,000. Farming boosters, I, I guess. They're, they're just out there trying your best. I got Arshim early. Their deck more or less made sense. Infinite Avar, uh, tagged by a bot, played like a bot, makes you think. What does it make you think about? <laughs> What does that make you think about? Jesus, dude. What am I gonna do here, man? Play some games in Snap League with Loki Force and haven't lost. You you haven't lost a game, Kevin? I thought you lost the first week. Enough said. Yeah, chat, we're in the Snap League right now, and we are in an insane position to win. It's seven different teams uh, with streamers and a bunch of people. And literally, <laughs> you can ask Get Wrecked the entire time. All I've been saying is, let's just have fun. Let's not take it seriously. Let's just have a good time the whole time. And now we're in like a dominant position to win. Cause we just we we beat uh, Lamy Series' team four to one this week, who is the the only team ahead of us. I definitely need to change my underwear. They're good fun of matches now. You just kind of have to find them. It, we mostly play them off stream and stuff. Uh, me and Felicity, we did all of our matches together. But it's mostly just kind of like done off stream. I, I play all of my, my matches on stream, but it's just whenever I, I can fit them in. Uh, if you go into the Discord through Felicity. Their deck list? It's on the screen, brother. What are you talking about for the Snap League? There's no deck list for the Snap key League. Everyone just plays whatever they want every week. Damn big Venom, man. Got a strong chi in there? We have a death. Pretty good. So I gave them Doom? Um, Was it just Doom I gave them? I gave them Doom Sandman? Right? Did they just Doom? Is there any world where we beat it, is the question. Can we give them 13, right? This gets us to 17 with the, this taking a hit, and then this. I understand Fist Tower chat. It's to get the Miss Marvel buff. It could be top deck null. My expectation is they just play Doom. Doom makes way too much sense. Let's 
Ah, they did top deck no. Cheaters. Delightful. Yeah, it's I don't think we can play around uh, top deck null. Man, this actually also lost to Doom left. Well, not because uh, not with the death death uh, death lock. Fifty fifty. Well, they had. I mean, there was. It was the top deck that mattered, right? All that really mattered was their top deck. I'm getting Noel was like a one in four, I think. That's just that's just unlucky. I, you just can't play around it. Uh, the, the only way you can play around it is if you like have. Uh, it's, I don't know. It sounds so stupid. The only way you can play around that is if you had like the means to, and I don't think I had the means to. Uh, I feel like that was a very solid play, though. Didn't you just get inked, Tamin? I did. I don't know why the hell I'm playing this this Angela. That that is a good question. I don't have a great answer for. I think we're always winning middle here. I said, man. Fifty fifty, just like New York. <laughs> so true. All right, one more game, and then we gotta do some ads. So make sure to remind me, otherwise it's your fault. Chat, we dropped zero frames. That's so much better than the fifteen hundred frames we dropped in the first minute. Uh, just a just a little bit ago. More Island. Still want a nebula there. Juicy. Maybe Angela off lane? I'm not sure. Maybe just Angela on their nebula. Or maybe I just don't fucking play Angela. Fuck me, right? <laughs> Game just said no! You're not you're not doing that. I feel like they're gonna play Green Goblin middle. Maybe left. Either way, I'm a little bit cooked by it. But we're still in some trouble. No doubt about that. Same it maybe helps. Just depends. Bum, bum. Problem titanium, huh? This leader might trick them. Here's the thing, right? They're gonna play a card left thinking, oh, we get our Titania back, they get nada. That is not true. 
I get whatever card they play. I think this is really tricky. I have priority. What the fuck am I talking about? I just did a whole thing about how it's okay because I have priority. But it's not, and I don't. I t <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, we'll probably need an ad break after that. Sometimes, you know, the wires in your head just get a little mixed up. And you so confidently say something that's wrong. Uh, Dana Kapierspring, thank you so much for the resub. Much like Dana Kapierspring, who just subbed with Prime, you too can sub with Prime by spending zero dollars while also slowly destroying and bringing down Jeffrey uh, Bezos's or Jeffrey Bezos? Jeffrey Bezos's empire by siphoning money out of his pocket and putting it into mine by clicking the subscribe button and doing the little prime toggle. Uh, if you are watching over on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Play Bandle. Two thousand fourteen. Three point four billion with a B views. YouTube views. Difficulty very easy. This might be the first very easy I've ever seen. Twenty fourteen, three point something billion views. Difficulty easy. I'm sorry if I if uh, everyone votes for that I'll win and then I get it wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, I will see y'all in a minute. Bandle time. I should know this from the drums, huh? I should know this from the drums. I don't. Is this some? Um... Oh, that was in 2014. I was thinking it was the Post Malone song. I feel like I... Am I crazy for not knowing this? Maybe I am. I got to skip. I don't have anything, man. about this at all it's so basic it's just a basic like chord progression i'm gonna guess it's a taylor swift song i'm gonna guess taylor swift blank space
it's <laughs> and I'll write your name. Is that, is that oh it's that song, right? <laughs> So literally, I just, I just typed in Taylor. I just typed in Taylor Swift, and there were two options. It was shake it off or blank space. And I know it's not shake it off because shake it off is upbeat. <laughs> I bailed the believe and believers. I bailed you out on that one. I absolutely bailed you out on that one. But several people got in. Uh, several people got it. Uh, that was so. I, I think that song is really good. I think she. I think her singing in that is very good. But that is the most basic ass beat. <laughs> that was so basic. There was nothing to it. It was just like the. It was like the four chord song. You guys know the four chord song, where they make fun of how every popular song ever has been just the same four chords. It's a very famous YouTube video. That's kind of what she does. I no I. I actually disagree with that. I think that Taylor Swift um, has done some very good things and has shown some range. But I mean, you know, if, if you're going to be the, at the top for so long, some, uh, plenty of your songs have to, kind of have to be formulaic, right? At their core. Yeah, Access of Awesome four chord song. Yeah, you got it. It's very funny. You only get so popular with following for me. That's true too. I mean, she's clearly insanely talented. Okay. Uh, it'll be a coin flip to see who goes first next turn. If they go first, we can pull whatever card they play somewhere. Uh, let's snap here. Eh. They have Pryo. Yeah, let's snap. Spider-Man middle can be very annoying for them. And then if it goes left, then we just play whatever we top deck. Can be probably be a little sad. Uh, if it goes right, then we can just we just rib a doom. Spider-Man here. We can just shang chi that eventually. Uh, this turn is probably Red Hulk, right? Let's just anticipate Red Hulk this turn. Doom. Hmm. I forgot that leader and Doom have that tension. Doom's really only giving me five net power. It's really bad. Then winning middle, they'll like have to use Red Hulk. Maybe we still should have doomed. We probably still should have doomed. Yeah, that's a mistake. We still should have just doomed. So we can just play whatever we can. We draw next turn with the Nightcrawler and it's all the same. That was a mistake. Ah, undo. Thank you. One day I'll remember that that feature exists. Red Hulk metal. 
I might leave. Tough. I was really hoping we'd get that leader hit. Missing that leader hit was hard. Escaped. Yeah, the, the priority coin flip is an important thing to remember. And it's important to check to see if you got it or not. We're gonna stream for a couple more hours, maybe. I would like to make promises that I don't know the answer to. Uh, we'll probably go Angela left and try and fill. Any of our two drops would be really good here or Nebula is fine. Maybe we end up going Ms. Marvel left. I guess it'll depend on how much power they can push out left. They could also have like magic or something. Maybe like squeezing in just like a Scarlet Witch to beat these magic decks is pretty good. I feel like having a magic counter is pretty good. We'll still be able to cook him with Sandman. As long as you get like Leader or Doom. Uh, cause there's still maybe a chance they just play like Sarah next turn. play is this we want to force something middle getting something middle is really nice for us uh we're kind of at the mercy of like a leader or doom top deck but if we do this like often we're just like not just depends on how aggressive they go second just like a witch for this medusa or something interesting idea i would like to stay behind but i don't see that really happening Makes sense to send same in mid. Like play Spider-Man right, same in mid. I think we only needed one. Obviously we couldn't anticipate the magic, but I think only one is fine. Might just be like an Odin, might just be a surfer. It's actually quite nice to mess them up with their Odin lines. Oh, they have priority. That's actually really huge. Because they like do like Odin Surfer or something. We should be able to blow up right. 
We can fit a two middle. Move both of these. Play a glad right. Just try to get as many stats as we can. Throw the Shang Chi left. If they do Surfer Odin. One of these has to get hit by like a Broodling too. Yeah, they probably just go like Wong something left, right? I don't know if I want to do this for eight. We're pretty fragile. Yeah, let's have some fun. Wong Odin. Yeah, Wong Odin kind of cooks us. Are worthy? How do they even play Wong Odin? Oh, because it's seven. Definitely should have left. Too many ways that we can get out of there. I wonder if we do want like Witch or Quake or something. Because these magic decks are probably the deck that gives us the most trouble. Hate that deck? It's really good. I had an Odin Surfer deck a, a bit ago, but that one definitely works better. So more disruptive and reliable. Yeah, but it costs three and it doesn't give us any tempo. That's the biggest problem with it, in my opinion. Storm costs one more and gives us one less power. Both of, both of those are pretty bad. Medusa, yeah, Medusa would be the cut if we were going to do that. Dude, there's a new, I think it's a season pass card next year or next month where um, it's a 3 5 that moves and can change the location. That would be really good for this deck. look for you. Like decks like this I feel like we could crush if we just um, had access to more time. Yeah, Nocturne would be great for C5. We love Sandman! We love Sandman here. It is very annoying with the magic because you have to play it weird and off curve, but I mean, when they're playing <laughs> Sarah Onslaught, I think you're usually going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, their cards were so cheap, chat. They could have played all of their cards, like twice. That's terrifying. Or it might be solid sets. Uh, I don't think Graven's worth in the deck. 
Need more more movement triggers, I think. Plus, like um, with Craven, you want to have a bunch of movement triggers towards the end of the game. On four, five, and six, our winning line is Marvel Sandman Doom. It's it's pretty crazy. You like Witcher or Medusa? Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep playing it out. I mean, the Medusa has been solid for us. Like, let's me not forget the 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 Medusa's done quite well. Snow guard. Okay, knowing we can get to middle is always a good feeling. Are just killing your Maria Hill? I guess they're ramping. I might be trying to play Loki next turn. This deck be worth trying without leader? You could try, it's probably bad. You can certainly try. You know, 07s for Maria Hill. Uh, you'd have to like retool the deck a little bit. Um, Lambie uses Red Hulk instead of Doom, so maybe you could try Leader and Red Hulk. Or you can make, maybe you could try Doom and Red Hulk. What is your deck? Is this a Colson card? Okay. I was gonna say I'm I'm very confused. You just want a Spider-Man, right? Four Spider-Men? I mean, it's not bad. If I fill left, they're never beating 25, right? This is just Doom on six, but like, spicy. Only 21. Ah, that's true. That is true. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Go middle, please. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Thank you. Okay, that's illegal. But this is a fake card. You can't move this. We don't. We don't have to worry about it being a real card. Leader right probably just wins. They don't have Heimdall chat. This is a fake card. The Coulson card. We don't, we don't worry about fake cards here. Fake Heimdall? And now if they had played, um... If they had played the uh, Fury, maybe. That's a good one. Card. Little baby card. Okay, cool. Victory. 
Little tiny bitty baby card. Little tiny card. And we're really lucky we got three Sandman middle. It was very unlikely to happen. And if it didn't, we were probably in trouble. Like, I think they beat four... I'm pretty sure they beat all of them left. They got more than 21, I, th I think, right? I mean, they got exactly to 21, and then they win total. I'm just here so y'all will find me. Shadow King is scary, man. Location batching isn't real. You got 9 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 equals 17. Oh, they weren't even close. What you're saying. You're playing a card in Dust Domain, you maniac? Watch Gladiator pull a card bigger than him and then kill himself. Was it an altar last game? Ah, that's a good point. They make a similar sound. That's a great point, though. It could be Zemo. It could just be one of my cards, right? No, why would they just throw, like, Nightcrawler in there? It'd be stupid. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Snaps, huh? Okay. This might be Doc Ock turn, but it's not that bad. Am I decked? I am decked. But all I need is Sandman and Leader. Makeup work to do. Uh, I have to play around Black Bolt, unfortunately. Let's uh let's get Scarlet Witch in here to start dealing with these decks. This is this is the really the only problem with them. If you can get rid of Limbo, the, the decks are pretty easy to beat. That was part of the reason why I had Legion in my last rant deck, and it, it was just kind of cooking people. But that 3-5 that can move and change location? Ooh, we. We're getting a lot of them though. I thought some Nightcrawler left last turn. I think he was going to Doc Ock. Yeah, maybe I should have played more on the Doc Ock. I just didn't really think about uh, it, to be honest with you. I just I just simply didn't care that much, if I'm being uh, honest. Yeah, I think, like, over 40% of the games we've seen Magic. Why not Storm? Because uh, it costs one more and gives us one less power. Now, there is some argument that we have some good Storm Synergy, but the deck isn't really wanting to play Storm on three, I don't think. We, we want Scarlet Witch to hang out in hand. Why don't I simply draw Doom? Uh, it's because they took it with Cable, most likely. 
New card changes the one that it goes to, I, th I think. I want to tunnel anything. Almost everything's better than Jeff in our deck. So we'll tunnel Jeff. It's kind of better. Snowguard? No, Snowguard's telegraphed. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Snowguard's too telegraphed, IMO. That ear surely wouldn't fail me again. I didn't know how that worked, I'm going to be honest with you. I I didn't know it I didn't know what was going to happen there. This is kind of cheeky. I can miss Marvel and then like like which Sean because this is going to happen at the end of the game, so I can change the Quantum Tunnel first. Why not just put Reality Sun on the deck? I wish I could, man. It's a good card. Very strong. This could be a plus twelve swing. It's still not. This still doesn't beat us. Hmm. Actually, if this is a Nihilus, then that turns off my Miss Marvel. So it's much better to do this. Hmm. Furthermore, if their play is Sentry, we might just be cooked. So you might just want as much power left to beat their sentry. One, four, three. You get to like 19 power. Yeah, I think we have to beat their sentry. Let's go. Doom is better, is it? Or are you wrong? Or are you incredibly wrong? You're crazy? This is a great line, chat. This is a really good line. Unless you're saying I'm crazy good, which I agree with you. Doom better. Doom is better. I think I won either way. Yeah, because they didn't play a Nihilus, but my play played around a Nihilus too. The guy played Camp S and made almost the same play. Interesting. I was not expecting Ronin. I will tell you that. I that was the, one of the last cards I would have expected. Hmm. Three Hulk Stitten. <laughs> oh, this is chilly. There's something about that that's just—it's so funny to say for for literally no reason whatsoever. It's just one of those things where it's like it's not that funny. And yet I just can't stop. And yet I just can't stop. I simply can't. I simply cannot stop. I wish I could. 
Ah! It's a dang rock apocalypse. So that means they have to, this is a really smart play by them, by the way. Doing this to force me to be full so they can Sean me later. You play Sean? Well, our, our goal is to set it up so Sandman can win. Wait, what the fuck, dude? That, that should be illegal. So now if they Sean us on curve or on six, then our Sean can win theirs. <laughs> what the hell? Super giant cheater piece? Now you have Pryo, person who doesn't understand how this worked. Now because they played it there, it won't work. But if they had played it this turn, then it would have worked. Is the thing. Okay, sweet. Victory. So the idea is, they super giant now. We hide the Shang Chi. It'll go on to find turn quote unquote seven. If then on six they Shang Chi here, then our Shang Chi has a chance to jump over. But since they played Shang Chi then, then there's nothing we can do about it. Prime. SG messed them up. They did it. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. I, it was crazy for them. To, I guess they had to play the century middle. But it is crazy to play the century middle. I guess you have to. You couldn't play it right. You couldn't play it left. Uh, without losing your Shang-Chi lane. Maybe they should have just Shang'd on curve. But it's also very risky in its own way. Castle Blockstone. Jack, is it crazy that we haven't faced a single magic deck since we added Scarlet Witch? You know what's probably happening? I bet second dinner looks at what cards are in my deck, figures out which ones are countered, and has a extremely in-depth way to make it so that I only get things that I don't want to play against. I bet they put a lot of time and money into doing that. Like, a lot of dev time. I bet they, they spent hundreds of man hours figuring out a way Do I just show them that on curve? I think I do Tell you what I think I do Being behind is kind of goaded here. Opponent snapped. Because whatever they play, I just get a bigger version of it. Or the same version of it, because they're ahead. They did the Magento emote and the Thor emote on me. You can only task master in one lane, sir. What do we do? Uh, so they could have, as far as one drops go, they could have zero, obviously. This beats zero middle. You don't need anything else for it. Let me just do this. 
Uh, they would have to fork really hard to find a win. A zero also can't commit. That's a great point. They test for sure, yeah, but it's, it's about what else they do is what we're worried about. Lost the pass, dude. Victory. Move Jeff. Bro said, "Move Jeff." I guess they were hoping that I move Jeff. Actually, I think that was a. Um, uh, I think that was intentional how they did that. I think they were trying to play around me moving um, Jeff and fighting for middle. I think that was like a third level read, but I was, I said that loses to pass is like an insult, but that was actually kind of a smart play. That was actually a very interest. The best play for them was retreat probably, to be honest. I, but it looks like, I mean, that Ebony Maw right would have gotten me. But I had a better chance of playing Taskmaster left, my right. Uh, I mean, in your opinion, I I don't think I think that was a really good line they found. I'm actually quite impressed by it. Do you guys expect Sammy to be good? Yeah, I think so. My rank is a power of two, ten twenty-eight. Long. Uh, Gladiator Krakoa is great. Yeah, I think the 5-7 change is huge. Just making him like not feel like a temple loss to play is, is pretty crazy. Awesome leader emote. Yeah, GG's. You, you threw the emotes at me, I had to throw some back. Uh, my Jeff! I like him! It's a good card. This ish to me. No, I have to do it now. I have to do it now because Dr. Ock. I have to do it now. Shang Chi chat. Pretty good. It doesn't even have Shang Chi active, right? So Shang-Chi middle can be interesting, but they'd have to get five right as well. It'd have to be like Shang-Chi exactly Maximus, which not many of them run. And they have to move the Jeff middle. But yeah, they did lose Sean. That's a good point. I definitely remember that.
I, I definitely rem remember that. You see Max in all these? Uh, that's very surprising. Very few of the decks run Max. From my ex perspective. It's like you don't mill cards by putting them in your opponent's hand. You mill them by getting rid of them. Probably very unoptimized versions of you running Max. I don't know. bad I didn't forget about Shadow King I just thought we'd be okay around it but I guess that makes sense it's super risky by them legitimately their play lost to pass because I had the Nightcrawler middle that play lost to pass crazily they lost to any points middle. Wild how long they waited? Eh, maybe. That didn't feel very stream snipey. But, I don't know, maybe. Never know. After you build the opponent, Max is great laking. Uh, I would disagree with using Max in the deck, but uh, maybe you're right. In that deck, you usually don't want cards that you can't play on curve, in my experience. Usually pretty feels bad. Mon Witch. People playing Nightcrawler again, even now Moon Dicks. Yeah, it's just good with the Angela. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Good with the Angela. It's good to be able to reposition things. Very solid. Sarah Glad feels so good. Why? It shouldn't. You're not playing Glad to hit their cards. Hitting anything with Glad is good. It's nice not knowing. Actually, in this deck, in general, hitting Sarah is very bad. Yeah, Nightcrawler Crawl uh, was very good. I definitely would not have made that play if I if I. we just like lose yeah we're getting two two we're getting nine right it was definitely play odin i think they play wong and then we win The Scarlet Witch has been a great inclusion so far, I will say. The read, I mean, it's not Wong, but...
The Scarlet Witch has been really good. Like, that's the only deck I've been having problems with is anything that magics. Maybe it's the time of having Location Disruption is back. Get your Legions, get your Scarlet Witches. How am I so good? Just have to believe. Playing the game for like... 30 hours a week while a bunch of people criticize you. <laughs> Def definitely helps too. Oh, I forgot I could move right Nightcrawler. I mean, I, I just don't think that they thought I had Witch. It's a, a psycho card to be running in like a random deck. It sure makes diamonds. You use this deck to confuse matchmaking? That's definitely what happened, is that using this deck confused the matchmaking. It sounds like a real thing. Um, man, I'm, I'm so off curve here. I think I stay on curve and just play the Spider-Man. Because I can play the Angela, but it's so low tempo now. Thank you. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Scarlet Witch is not in meta deck, so it confuses the deck-based matchmaking. Big brain time. No, don't combo decks. Just play Scarlet Witch for him. And don't have that happen. Just don't do that. Jeff. Jeff, dude. They play Red Hulk? Play floated any turns? On turn four, I floated. They didn't have Red Hulk then. They had two top deck sorts, a 50 50. It's probably 14, right? Is it? Miss Marvel, which middle? People forget, man. thinking about for so long they can only play one card well, they have one card to play could have been that hard to figure it out
I definitely should have left for uh, two earlier. Very, very, very bad ethics or uh, etiquette around that. Hmm. So glad middle. Spooky. Gladding against a Rantek is nightmarish. Cut off one head, two more shall take its place. Actually, not that bad. They do have a lot of energy. They, they, they do. They do have a lot of energy, though. This, this much is we know for sure. You're snapping, huh? You lost your Arnim Zola and you're snapping? They're dropping six drops every turn? It's very scary. Very scary thing indeed. Uh, typical plays would be Doom. Doom makes a lot of sense. Leader makes quite a bit of sense. Magento could happen. This loses to Vision right. But I think we have to play it. I think it's our best play. Ah, shit. if it's vision left we lose if it's vision right i don't think we had much of a choice between the two you think run i think run is the worst choice there uh, we have leader and doom we, we can we can fight a lot of what they're trying to do I, th I think that if you're i think if you're running there you you don't you're you're missing out on like the fundamentals of when to stay and when to leave it was about a 50 50. you should only be running if if it's a uh, 25% chance or less that you can win, and, and it wasn't even close there. They're much higher than 25% chance. Thoughts of going for the 50-50, moving Jeff right, and playing Spider-Man right? Uh, I think playing Spider-Man is really bad in that situation. I think you're always leadering or sometimes dooming. But it's almost always a leader there. You pretty much can lock in a 50-50. Just depends on where they move the vision. Mm. You disagree? Why do you disagree? Do you think that that was less than a 50 50 for my end? It was either move Jeff right, leader right, or move Jeff left, leader left. Probably are the two different options. 
We just had to play and move our cards away from where the vision goes. So it's it's about as close to a 50-50 as you can get, in my opinion. Another Doom and some beat you? I get a whole ass Doom of my own. Doom, Doom would not have beaten me then. Doom anywhere would have lost. But it's not a 50-50 if they move the vision. The opponent isn't just going to be random. What are you what are you talking about? They either move their vision right and play left, or they move their vision left and play right. That's pretty much the only two situations that can come from that situation. It's pretty much the only two plays that our opponent has. Unless they do something completely psycho that I wouldn't expect. I don't really know what, what else you would do there, other than that. They have vision, right? But if they move vision right, are they going to play right, chat? If they move their vision to the right, are they going to play a card right? You have to ask yourself that question. Like, would they move a play, move vision right and play right? Almost certainly not, right? That would be insane. Are they going to move vision left and play left? No, that would be crazy. They're going to split it. They're going to go vision one way and play the other way. Right? So that's what the 50-50 is. You have to look past... You have to, like, look past just, like, the, the simple, straightforward side of it. Moving vision left or right while playing Doom is 100% loss against that line? Maybe you're right against that line. Maybe I did lose to Doom either way. But there is another way that I could have played where I matched their cards and then it's and then it's a little bit less ambiguous. I would have to look back at it again to see if Doom always lost there, but I, I didn't think that was the case. This is my deck. Beats just about everything from a total power perspective. Uh, they don't have Gambit anymore. They could play Sif and activate their strong guy. Yeah, GG's. Victory. Yeah, so I, I could have played around Doom if I didn't make that line. I was making a hard call out on, on where they were going to lead her because I, I felt leader was very sensical for what they were. But I just, I, I. Uh, I don't see a way that you can look at that as you have less than 25% chance to win if you use your intuition. But some people don't uh, follow that hard and fast rule. I think it's the best way to gain cubes in general. And it's the best way, especially on ladder, to improve your efficiency. Conquests, it can always be a little bit different depending on matchups. I don't know why I'm snapping, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, one day they'll add replays? Maybe. Isn't there like some weird replay thing that you can do through like untapped or something? I feel like there used to be like a replay feature through like some one of the older trackers that you could add in. Or, or I'm just making that up and having like a fever dream. That could be the case too. I feel like I, I've seen replays. Yeah, snap the snap the fan thing, yeah? You're welcome for your demon. This is another Dang Galactus deck chat. Another dang dirty Galactus chat. Shang-Chi to play around Sentry left.
Our biggest threat is Sentry. Leader doesn't beat Sentry, unfortunately. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. on the Psychops play with the headphones. I did, it was weird. I don't know why I did that. So the, the leader was so risky there, right? Because, I mean, I was expecting Sentry. I was not expecting Omega Red. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like I expected Omega Red at all. Uh, I think any card I pulled, I won. I think. No, it, it didn't need, it need to be that or Demon. This is a 50-50. Needed to be the demon or the Omega Red. Sentry lost some negative sum. Ah, because it was minus 13. That's a good point. It's a great point, actually. I didn't realize it was that close, but I also didn't think about it, which is probably like not how you should play the game. Chat, I was supposed to run ads, man. I'm getting friggin' pre-rolls, brother. Make sure to remind me to run ads after this game. Otherwise, it's your fault. Okay, we can almost assuredly say this isn't a magic deck. Almost assuredly. Let's let's get uh, Miss Marvel able to go in big big house. I've never seen a deck run Squirrel Girl and <laughs> I've never seen I've never seen a deck in my life run Squirrel Girl and um, Magic. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong and they exist, but like in my mind, it it would be insane to play both of those cards. Not that it couldn't happen, but I just don't think we need to use it as a limbo counter in this game. Trying to run the ads, or else. Where are you going, Mr. Fantastic? Let's go on a little ride. Oh, the squirrel! To me, this feels kind of like like a textbook. To me, this kind of like feels like a like a like a textbook um, like just priority deck. I don't think we're gonna land Miss Marvel middle. We kind of want to Sandman in the Doom. Let's just get the Miss Marvel down. Or Sandman if Doom comes down, we can play Jeff on another card. If they don't play uh, Daredevil, we probably snap. I feel like we're we're well well ahead. Daredevil's annoying though. really tough so likely plays would be Kazar right um Kazar right gets him to 13 middle Zarite gets them, oh Jesus, five right plus four right, gets them nine right, they go plus eight. This is so close to working when it doesn't, like this, this would be really interesting. I guess I can't uh, Jeff middle because of these two.
Yeah, I just can't beat Kazar, right? I, I just can't beat Kazar, right? Alright, chat, we're gonna run three minutes ads. If you don't wanna see the ads, you can pay $5. Check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. By clicking the subscribe button and doing the little Prime toggle, you might have a free subscription. Holy crap! Tucker, I'm very sorry if you're still here. You subscribed 35 minutes ago and I completely missed it somehow. Uh, thank you so much. Tucker's going to be on the show tomorrow. Uh, we're going to hang out and play games together, which is very exciting. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Yeah, we we're just we we're just a little bit off. Them getting the onslaught out of hand is, is crazy strong for them. Like uh, getting an onslaught versus my nebula, it's just it's too too much to overcome. If we had gotten like a doom there or something, we'd be in a much better spot. Um, is there anything we could split? Let's 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 get some more Angela action going. I've kind of never had like a super sick Angela split. Like this one's okay. This one's pretty cool, but but we need a good Chibi Angela split. I tell you what, we need one. Uh, this is the sixth split, more than six. So get your get your pieces in now. Infinity. See y'all in a minute. See, we get I gotta open these man I have so many you want to see my cringe chat that's bad that's really bad I gotta open those man <laughs> that's really not good mm. unfortunate they have the doubters Some of these looks pretty cool. Like the prison back foil fi finish isn't all that, that bad. <laughs> Him all button win. Not great. It says 358 in the collection. That that's I don't know what the hell that means. I guess we have like a minute left. We can open some now. I kind of don't want to claim all button actually. The, the only thing I want them to fix is that it doesn't take like... Oh my gosh. It was crackle. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I don't know if I can do anything about this. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can refund after you lock it in. might have scammed a lot of people. 
You could do it again? Yeah, but then everyone will just vote yes. You know, like, human, human psyche would mean that no one would ever do that. Uh, sorry! <laughs> I don't know, scammed, my bad. Make an experiment out of it? I'm not gonna make an experiment out of it. Sorry, I don't. I wish there's something I could do, man. There's nothing I could do, dude. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. People say second dinner is bad. So true. All right, we got the tech. We have the tech for this chat. We have to play it left for Miss Marvel reasons. Friendly neighborhood Don't land middle and be less than this, son of a bitch. It's rough. We're gonna dock Ock. Is it Craven gonna this deck? Nope. You can certainly try it if you would like. Typical gamer has been really good. Victory. In the final turn so far. I I will tell you what, chat. You know, we weren't sure about this um Scarlet Witch inclusion. Boy oh boy, has it been has it been really good to beat those decks, man. Those decks really like having extra turns. And when you just tell them they're not allowed to, it, it it they really don't like it. They really don't like not being allowed to have an extra turn. The problem with Craven is, is that to get value out of Craven, you often want to be moving cards the whole game. In general, Enough said, Bob. we're only moving cards early. Like playing cards that move cards early. We don't really play them in like five, six, and seven because of like our Sandman stuff. I feel like every deck kind of needs some sort of location disruption. I don't think so. right now you might be right, Tactical Terry. I think that there are metas where that is absolutely correct. I don't think in general that's the case, but I think in this meta it has it greatly helps you to have location disruption because so many decks are trying to play like junky stuff where you you play until the very end decks are trying to play like mill stuff where you where you get a bunch of value at the very end a lot of different things like that so i definitely think right now is is a great great time to um have location disruption available might be able to win with Sandman, it just depends on what they have. Zola will definitely be an issue. Um, they have one destruction trigger. 
The don't be fooled by the Wolverine. Is that the draw too? Better not be. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The left, please. All right. Venom right is really hard to beat. Maybe I shouldn't have played this here. Yeah, I think I goofed by playing this uh, middle. I should have played this like anywhere else. It was a pretty bad mistake. Unless. Wait, we have le- oh my gosh. I was counting this Wolverine as two. That was so stupid of me. I don't know why I was kind of the Wolverine is too. I was like, oh, they only have like seven power there. But they actually had 12. I just counted it wrong. So many combo decks. You think it's also why Tribunal is running Cosmo? Uh, Tribunal usually runs Cosmo for Rogue Enchantress more than Location Disruption. Because usually you don't want to do your combo stuff. Like, you can't really play Magic and Cosmo on a lane and then do all your stuff there. It's uh, definitely more for Location Disruption, but it certainly doesn't, doesn't hurt. Awkward. Just have to hope it lands right. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Not. Uh, Gladiator can be really annoying for Helidex. Do I just take the draw? I take the draw. They haven't done any setup to be able to play their Hella stuff, right? Maybe they just think that Hella is enough with black. Okay, cool. I was about to snap on him. Struggling to get to 90? You just gotta farm your bots. Before 90, you can. You, you should be able to get to 90. Playing well and learning how to farm bots. 90 to infinite can be very tough. But maybe you're playing a deck uh, 69 that doesn't really do well against bots and you, you have a lot of problems with bots. Uh, that's probably your best way to get to the 90s. Once you get there, you can try and play and, and face the meta a little bit more. Got to do a dark hop. That's awesome. Not an easy feat. I would like cards that do things, please. Please, some cards. Lots with disappear for you at seventy. I don't think that's correct. I don't think that's correct for anyone. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that is incorrect.
Bots are very rare from 90 to 100, but I don't think anyone has no bots below 90. I, I just don't think that that's a thing. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Let's go Sandman. Bump their silk. You haven't played Darkhawk since the nerf? Yeah, I played a little bit of Darkhawk Surfer on the T3 stream, but um, very little. Them having priority is so huge if they just play Red Hulk, right? They're always going to get Silk left. Should be plus three. You move Jeff left for plus one. Damn, dude. Beating the Silk is really annoying. Because the Silk is going to get bumped at the end of the game always. Captain Marvel becomes an issue. We have to hope maybe Silk lands middle. Like they leave space and Silk lands middle. It might be our only win con. Maybe it's. Maybe if we do this. No, then we lose to total power. So we're gonna have Jeff, Captain Marvel, and Silk. This is the best plan. Oh, we're fine. We've been total power. No, the leader has to go first. He's so dumb. And they moved the shark chain because I forgot I had Spider Man. Wait, no, wait. Are we still fine because of the leader? Higher, further, faster, baby. Fuck! I forgot about the Spider-Man completely, dude. Why don't I move the Nightcrawler left? Stinky spider I mean, I'm the one who put him there! I don't blame the Spider-Man, I blame myself. Who's supposed to- how am I supposed to remember what I did three turns ago, man? No, the, the leader also would not. There were so many things that I did wrong that turn. The leader wouldn't copy by playing right if the Sean killed it. I forgot that I had played the Spider-Man. It was just a damn disaster. Yo, what's up, besties? What is up, besties? How are y'all doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Bonsoir, KM Best. Hope you're doing well. I'm playing a uh, Sand Doom deck. A new age doom wave. I don't know if you played much of these decks, but they are a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying them. Uh, do, do I have a mod in chat who can shout out KM Best, please? If you guys don't know KM Best, definitely go check them out. It is what I was playing earlier, KM, yeah. Dude, I was, uh, you, you played really well. Your, your choice to not move, um, your choice to not move Jeff against me was really, really smart. I was complimenting the hell out of you. Uh, to how you chose to move that Jeff right as opposed to trying going for the tie. I think that was incredibly smart of you. Imagine beating Banks in a match and random as a show of dominance. So true. Um, this is almost certainly Phoenix Force. Ah, uh, is it though? 
I'm gonna assume it's Phoenix Force. Because why else would you play the Nico here? Uh, the, the ordering is so weird. You played you played Deadpool on two and then just Nico on three. Yeah, there's no way. If they resurrect plus I definitely need to change my underwear. That is just destroy. That is so this, their play lines are so weird, I'm so confused. Your play lines are confusing me and and angering me. Please stop confusing and angering me with your, your lines. That hit the Deadpool though, but we don't worry about that. We thought it was Phoenix Force. I mean, I guess it could still be Phoenix Force. We were trying to get a worse card into the destruction pool. My cards! What a game! So I can play... Their Deadpool's only like four, right? Their Deadpool's only four. Uh, death shouldn't be active. I think this is just good enough. They'd have to work really hard to beat this, so make them make them work really hard. How were they able to play that? Am I crazy? How could they play Death Knoll and Deadpool? There was no way there was eight kills. I'm losing my mind. Deadpool died twice. X-23 died once. Two of mine, okay. Deadpool twice. X-23 once, that's seven. I didn't kill anything with the Gladiator. He didn't kill anything. Hulkbuster doesn't count as dying. X-23 plus one energy, that's the null in the Deadpool. This has to cause zero. You go merge with Hulkbuster and then it died? We're, we're counting that already. Deadpool died three times? No, it didn't. It died twice. I legit, I, I cannot figure, I was, I did the math and they, they can't do the X. Just take the L and move on. No, I want to figure out how the game works. <laughs> Better pulled and killed Deathlock. It did not. It pulled Hulkbuster. Deathlock died. We know this. Deathlock died. We know that Nico died. We know that X-23 died twice. Did this die three times and I'm just, I'm a psycho and don't remember it? Maybe this did die twice. No, they played it out of hand last turn. They played X-23, Deadpool, Hillmonger. The, the X-23 didn't die twice. It only came out of hand once. 
right? Because last turn was X23 out of hand, Deadpool out of hand, Killmonger. Check their null, it doesn't tell you. It died twice because it landed mid because of Hella? No, because it, no, they played it on five. I'm legitimately confused, man. Do a YouTube VOD review? I'll just be mad and say that they cheated and that one doesn't count as a loss. Made the count of the whole quest a kill? I mean, there's no reason why that... Dude, is that a thing? That's actually, that might, that might be a glitch with Hulkbuster and Gladiator, right? There are at least seven kills, so they would have beaten you with Death Puzzle anyway. That's not what we're talking about. They didn't even win with just Death and Null, right? It was a tie if they just had Death and Null. Is we, no, we would have won. We would have won left and middle. Oh, death and null instead of Deadpool and death or null. That's true. I, I should have thought about them playing death and, and null. That, I mean, that's definitely true. They have one more energy with X23, I'm aware. It's not what we're talking about. That That's a great point that I, di I didn't think about that they could play the death instead of the Deadpool. I didn't think that was an option. But I, I, it must be a... Um, Uh, it must be a glitch with Hulkbuster and Gladiator, because that's the only way that explains how they could have played those cards. That's that's weird. I had no idea that glitch existed. They just cheated having both in hand. I mean, they did play Nico uh, Destroy Spell. Uh, they played they played Deadpool, Null, and Death. So Deadpool and Null was already seven. So it, the Death had to be free. Uh, kitty deck. Kitty decks usually don't care about too many things. I want to unlock middle. Breaking news. Wish the destroy and discard counters actually work. They do. You just have to play them in every deck, which kind of sucks. Nico got Hulkbuster on, which would retrigger. No, Hulkbuster doesn't retrigger on reveals. That's not how the card works. Oh, counters. Like, oh, I completely agree. I really wish they had figured this out. Like, make make the actual counters say what it is, and then but then have the graveyard show. I completely agree with that. I mean, I guess we're like a kitty deck now? This is why Brinks gives me crap when you bring up salient points in your podcast. No, it's because you don't know how to argue positions, <laughs> Chocolate Rain. I'll just I'll just give you a retort to something that you say, and you just say, "Well, game best said it, so it's right." <laughs> it's not you can't do. It's not fair. You don't just get to have that get out of jail free card. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> Alright, if we top deck Sandman, we snap as hard as we possibly can. It sounds like a good argument to you. So true. No, I think it's a literal bug that the game countered a destroy trigger because... Um... Gladiator is more than Hulkbuster. There, because there's no other way to explain it. There was literally seven cards got destroyed that game, and they got a free death. There's, there's, there was no other extraneous factors that can explain it. Top deck Sandman, please. Sometimes you just have to ask nicely. 
Sometimes in this world chat, you just have to ask nicely. Noel's 25. I mean, yeah, I wasn't going to count all the cards that died for Noel. All that mattered to me was the triggers. You can usually pretty, like, sometimes you can find, like, I, I mean, all the time I'll mess up and, like, especially when, like, Time Stone used to be the way it was. I'd be like, how the hell did they do that? Or when you play Wave and your opponent <laughs> takes advantage of it and you forget that they're allowed to do that. I mean, also, we should have just realized that they could just, uh... uh they could have just smashed our head in with, with death and Noel anyway, right? Yeah, the old time stone shit used to be bad, and then the, the wave one is so funny. I was just like, Chad, how'd they do that? It's like, you play, you literally played wave last turn. Like, how am I supposed to remember what I played last turn? What the hell is this, man? This is bull crap. Well, we can get to 11. I think we still make this play. It ties right. Oh, it wins right. The fact that this wins right is is cracked. The fact that this wins right is insanely good. If this only tied right, we'd have to really think about it. But the fact that it wins right, it's so hard to say no to. Like, what would this lose to? We go minus two, so we go to 12, and we're gaining seven. That's how much Elsa does, right? So we're going plus five, we go to 19. They have to move Jeff to beat us, right? They'd have to have... Wait, even Red Skull doesn't do it. It just always wins. Sandman. Coming in clutch as always. Is there some weird rogue lines that could beat us? Like rogue can cook us. I'm trying to figure out how they would cook us with rogue. Doom rules all. Oh man, they have my Jeff. And then my Jeff makes it a lot scarier. I tell you what, man. How'd you know, how did you know that he had my Jeff? Someone said they have Jeff right big thing mid. Oh, you're saying move Jeff right big thing mid? That's true, but like they didn't have something bigger than the beat 19 if they moved Jeff. Because they wouldn't get the Elsa buff. I thought you meant there, uh, I thought you meant, uh, I was like, how the hell did you know they had my Jeff? You piece. Listen al Gaib. Same man's so good, man. I really like, um, I really like New Sandman a lot. KMS, have you been teching in Location Disruption? Because I, I had a rant deck the other day where I played Legion and it was crushing. And right now I'm playing Scarlet Witch just because so many people are playing, so many people are playing um, freaking Magic, man. I feel like 40% of decks I play, they're, they're playing Magic out. And, and the thing is, like, in my opinion, if you're facing Mill, you, they, they just lose if you turn off their magic, almost always. I feel like that Mill deck just gets... Alright, we're gonna snap because they have Colossus in their deck. I think that usually means we're in a pretty good spot. Unless I pull their Destroyer right now. Well, the, the magic stuff makes sense. The only way the mill deck really works. Like, the mill deck sucks unless you extend the game, in my opinion. 
The reason Mill needs magic is that they're trying to clog their lanes and steal your cards. In a normal game, um, in a normal game, you just don't care because it's turn six and you can just play everything. But when they extend it to turn seven and then you have like one card in your hand on turn six, then you're in a lot of trouble. We've only played non-magic mill decks because magic is a bad card. Well, mill is a bad archetype though. Victory. So why are you doing that? Bought an infinite? Oh, it's probably a pool two warrior. Unless you're talking about, like, Loki. Yeah, I don't really count that as mill. Because you really hate combo? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you don't- you don't need a nerf mill. No, mill's already bad, man. Good card, Sand Doom, but no <laughs> Adam Warlock. So true. I should get Adam Warlock in the deck. That's a good card. We need two glasses wearing snap players to shake up the podcast scene. We need two glasses wearing snap players to shake up the podcast scene. Two. I don't understand what you're referring to. I also can't think of a snap podcast where both people are wearing glasses. Does Lammy wear glasses? Most bad, but it feels bad to play against. It's true. MTG reference to a commander channel. Ah, ha, 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 nice no. Do note, I'm not snapping because I killed their Noel. I'm snapping because Victory. We're, we're gonna win White Hot Room. Lamy doesn't coach it as yeah, but they don't have a podcast together. Also, coach's glasses aren't real. They're they're fake glasses. Oh, I play Deadpool, right? I li I literally have no idea. I know you wear glasses, Canvas. I thought they meant that it would be two people who run a podcast together who both wear glasses. I know you wear glasses. I'm pretty sure Lammy doesn't. I know Coacher wears fake glasses. Cozy doesn't wear glasses. Dara wears glasses. Dexter doesn't. Their, their, new, their next podcast is probably coming soon. Source, dude, just trust me. Regis does wear glasses. This is true. Plus, technically, I'm still a main host on the A Cubes podcast. Sometimes. Cam just won't admit it, admit it yet. <laughs> Lena does. Don't know if she still plays. She absolutely still plays. I don't think a podcasting duo can have two people with glasses. Doesn't that like, it, it messes up the feng shui. Oh! I should wear swimming goggles to shake it up. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, oh, I just gotta play, 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 play. I can't win right. That's an issue. I guess we could just lead her right. You wear glasses on the podcast ever? It is weird when you when someone wears pot when wears glasses like a lot, but not all the time. That you like start to like not remember if they have glasses or not. There's a really good bit about that in the office, like the US office, 
where everyone was like, does Stanley have a mustache? Victory. And no one could remember whether or not Stanley had a mustache, someone that you see every single day, but no one can decide whether or not he had a mustache or not, which is a very prominent feature just because it all kind of blends in. It's kind of like that with glasses sometimes. Some people hate on The Office, but they had some really, really good bits, dude. Office had some some absolutely legendary bits. Oh, by the way, Cambest, uh, congratulations on getting to watch UFC 300 Live. Also, to anyone who watched UFC 300 Live, congratulations on watching one of the best televised combat sporting events ever, uh, ever done in history. And getting to watch two of the top five coldest moments in history. Congratulations to all of you. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why you had such an animus towards me and I checked and you got banned in my chat for making fun of my friends. Then sent an unbanned request saying that was a misunderstanding. Dude, you would have, uh... We would have lost it at the, the person that was in my chat. I think it was like Saturday or something. Um, They're in YouTube chat. And they said, Binks, I love your videos, but your thumbnails are incredibly cringe. Which I get a lot. It's understandable. I, I've, I've seen it a million times. But then their name was like Conservative Carnage. So I made a joke and I said... <laughs> I said, that's okay. Your name is Conservative Carnage. So I know that no one cares about your opinions anyway. So that's fine. And then this dude went on a fucking tirade. This dude went on a tirade, dude. Like nothing I'd ever seen in my life. Losing his mind. A absolutely unable to, to handle uh, the, the slightest uh, whisper of adversity. And then, not only like, they, they started saying some really fucked up shit. Like it was like really angry. So then I banned him. I was like, can I get some 07s for, for this person? Rip in peace, what have you. <laughs> and then the dude the dude basically did that meme that I got one I got one more in me meme. <laughs> you guys know which one I'm talking about. They, they, they did like the, I got one, I got one more in me meme. And then they came over to Twitch chat and said some more insanely heinous stuff. You think it's Serving of Carnage is like a Republic? I, I don't think so. Maybe it is. <laughs> I can do this all day. Man, Ashtoon, you know what's worse than being banned in uh, KM Best channel? <laughs> being bad in Vinx's and KM Best channel, man. <laughs> Can you imagine the embarrassment? Can you imagine the embarrassment of being not in both of them? Can you imagine, chat? Probably lose. you imagine? New Leader Ambition is pretty good too, yeah. I totally agree. What do you do? I just got here. No, I was being mean to Cam Best. 
Cla classic case of being a dick and then not uh, being okay with like the consequences. Banned from all the Marvel Snap Twitches? They, they could have like a little Thanos club. They could have like a little Thanos club and <laughs> you like gotta catch them all. Gotta get banned from every chat. The, the problem though is that like people, I feel like there is a huge subset of people who are just completely They're they're just like completely like uh, unable to grasp that they could be in the wrong ever, and they're like and like they, they the last thing they possibly want to do is like take responsibility for any of their action. It's, it's usually, in my opinion, how that how that kind of stuff goes. Man, I really want to win the dang raft, man, but I don't have a damn I don't have a way to do it. Or like I did I did talk about the troll thing. I did talk about the troll thing recently, where it's like, trolls used to be... Yeah, I got you, yeah, and then they get banned, and they're like, ah, fuck you, yeah. They're just like little goblins, but, the, but now they're like... <laughs> now they're like... <laughs> oh, I didn't do it! I didn't do anything wrong! Is it, no one wants to ever admit they're wrong, it's a sign of weak character? Admitting you're wrong is a sign of weak character, do you believe that? Or do you think that people believe that? Is that what you're saying? Because in my opinion, generally people, um, I kind of want to move these cards. In my opinion, the people of weak character are usually the ones who are unable to admit that they're wrong. Beats everything, I think. I think this beats everything. I might be wrong. I I have a ton of respect for everyone that I meet that is able to admit their mistakes. I think it's one of the. I think it's one of the most. Um, I think it's one of the the traits that I see in people that I, I respect the most. Why did <laughs> I waste time saying something wrong? <laughs> but they, they could be saying that they think that societally, which I, I think is becoming much less true. I think if you look 30, 40 years ago, admitting that you're wrong was something that was viewed as like weak. Uh, uh, very much since much, but very much so because of the patriarchy. <laughs> That's like something Sony Strong would say. You're a bigot and you gave it, uh, it up, and I tell people I'm hoping they'll understand normality is subjective. Yo, Paul gave it then. I think that pretty much anyone that you meet, um, had at least most people have had across their life some level of bigotry that they've done whether it's intentional uh, done out of a bad place or anything like that i feel like almost everyone has they me um it can be very hard to admit for sure blow up the domain Let them think they're safe. I definitely need to change my underwear. 
It's tactical. Now we blow up the domain, and then they, they think it's safe. See, if we had done it last turn, then they wouldn't have known if it was safe or not. Yeah, it's insanely a great culture. I mean, even, like, homosexuality was, like, unbelievably taboo. Uh, unbelievably taboo just a few Enough years ago. Said, what a game! Still slightly taboo, but it used to be, like, ridiculous. Worst part is they're totally winning this. They'll never play around the same man. Let's see, you just gotta believe. I would say it's the best part, personally. See, here's the thing. Uh, you would have you would have done it immediately. And then they would not have known if they were safe or not. Snap? Ooh. I don't know how snappable this is. Right there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn best you lied to me. What happened with homosexuality is what um, is happening with being trans now. Uh, I mean, it's always happened with being trans. I like it was it used to be way worse. Look at that. He did the thing. I might have played them earlier, which is why they played around um why they played played around this. Can we beat them not having Noel? Decent chance to win there if they don't have null. Uh, GG, Steven. Thank you for admitting you were wrong, Canvas. Means a lot. I'm really mad I snap. I should ban whoever told me to. Oh, that's the Deathlock or Carnage, right? Well, it's a good thing I didn't have either of those. Farming respect? Pog. Respect is good, man. It's good for you. I witch! Safety blade, front of the show. Second GTA, when you complete one of Ryder's missions, he doesn't pay him money, he pays him respect. I don't understand that reference, but I'll assume that it's funny. I'll give you the benefit that it would be funny. Treating after snapping is a sign of weakness, so true. Oh no! I killed a morph that was dressed up as a Jeff, man. Never played San Andreas? Nah, I didn't really play much um, GTA growing up. Mm, I think we're in a pretty good position with Sandman as long as we get Leader or Doom. Uh, they can't do any junk stuff to us, we just huck our cards over to wherever it goes. I do respect the hell- honestly, I didn't even think about this for a second. Tainty Blades run a friggin' morph in their deck, man. That's based as hell. I have never, I would never take Safety Blade for having Morph in the deck. I'm kind of stoked. I would, I, would not, I would not take Safety Blade as a Morph Enjoyer.
Um, that's bad. Nissan plus leader always wins. I mean, it definitely doesn't. It's not even close to always winning. Hobgoblin is scary, man. Hobgoblin is so hard to play around here. Like, if we play Sandman and they play Hobgoblin right, we're just insanely cooked. Should have just been same man right. I should have just played same man right. Much better play. It's tough, man. The Havoc Nebula Glider is real rough, dude. Uh, I I am very impressed for Safety Blade for playing a Morph Havoc deck, though. It's kind of based as hell. Taking advantage of the less Mobius. Because it doesn't really matter what I play, so maybe I should just be like chill. There's no way this works, right? It doesn't. It's it's kind of surprising how close it is though. But they didn't have a more havoc cheater. Look at that, simultaneous. Hey, if we had Sandman there, we cook him. I would have changed their play if Sandman was right, though. But it was probably the strongest. Yeah, that does hurt to lose to not playing Sandman right, which I just should have done. I guess my thought process was I didn't want to get clogged, but, like, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if they just throw, like, one card over there anyway, I'm just cooked. Got an icebox where my heart used to be. Probably needed like Marvel or not to just get caught with our, our pants between our legs with the um, Prof X like we did. One of those two situations we need to have happen. I don't know where to play. I could have sacrificed Nebula, but I don't really want to. Like, we just didn't really have anything good to do the next turn if we were to do that, in my opinion. Leader won't work with Sam. Yeah, there we'd play Leader Middle, is the thing. Mom base Sandman. This Marvel does very little. Still lose my one? We wouldn't, but we learn how to. Wait, what? It gains plus two if you put Sandman right. Ah, that's true. Now Witch can give us a lot of outs.
Uh, I'm gonna be a little freak and stand against a, a Jane Foster. Come on, dude! Fuck you, man! <laughs> Give me one of my good cards, dude. I have so many of them. I legitimately have so many good cards you could give me here. Scarlet Witch or Sandman, I, pr I probably find winning lines. Spider-Man is ass now. Another card I don't have in my hand. This deck been playing, it's been okay. A bit up and down. We maintained rank pretty close. I think we started like 1100, we're at like 12. Uh, dude, we, Witch or Sandman, either one is huge. They have their whole deck. Everything costs two less and is negative flipped. I can turn off Limbo, so true. No winning this one? I mean, that makes me want to play it out. But that was your intention. You're doing a great job. Let me try beautiful. What if their Iron Man isn't flipped? They have no mystique. I mean, what if I Scarlet Witch? Uh, what if I Scarlet Witch and get uh, Isle of Silence? Like an Iron Man Tribunal? Ah, that's a great point. Alright, we're gonna run three of his ads. If you don't wanna see ads, you can pay five dollars. Check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. Good F scroll. It's another scary one. Your channel points back then? No, they're lost forever. They're gone forever. We should get retreat, but still say they're still played. Interestingly enough, um, 18 months ago now at this point, I put out a video saying the five things I want most in Snap, and that was one of them. I really, really wanted to see uh, having a fold option on turn six. That, that would let, let the game play out. I think this deck is playable without Miss Marvel. You can retool it. Uh, Lamy has a really good version of this without uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, that just goes more into like the silky smooth stuff. I think it might even have Elsa and things like that. Yeah, you'd have to retool it though. I don't think you can run this version. This version really likes having Marvel.
But you can certainly run like a Sandman Leader Doom deck without Miss Marvel. You just need to. I don't even know what you would really want to do. Shang Chi has felt a little bit off. I might want just another low cost tempo card. I wish there was another card that could like move. Keep buffing my Angela. It's definitely worse without Miss Marvel though. Miss Marvel's helped this one a lot. I don't know if I'd change any cards. We're, we're not doing as well as we wanted. I think a lot of it is just user error. I don't think I'm playing super hot tonight. I think I'm playing just okay. And like some of the ideas behind Shang is that I could like uh, Sandman into like Shang Jeff. But like we just play Jeff whenever we can usually because we need to play our small cards to try and get ahead. Yeah, like opting to fold or like you can like hit a button that says like um like uh, say like retreat but see and then your opponent could get like a pop-up saying your opponent retreated do you want them to see your hand or something it would probably be it's probably too convoluted at the end of the day for it to make sense for them to ever add it would just be nice mega red any good it's like all right it's better than it was it used to be really bad not many decks are running it though the only decks i really see it in are like c5 We have a really nice line here. We had a really nice line. Still do like stuff left. I'll still snap. Big House really cooked me there. But like the vault wouldn't have let me do what I wanted to do anyway. I guess I could doom anywhere so the vault matters less. I think I'm going to need space. It's still 4-9. still pretty good to play. I can need to keep space in case they hobgoblin me. Should still get over Century... Century into Nihilus. I'm trying to think where this goes. I think it goes right. Because they probably also play right, and then we just beat them with Doom. Be my guess. Could also maybe do Shang Jeff. Needed. But I think they play right here. And then our Doom gets over top. It might lose to their Doom if they have uh, double Doom. Spider-Man right with Jeff. I can't do that on turn six. Or unless you're talking about doing it right now. I think I think doing it right now is is uh, wrong. Because if we Spider-Man right, I can land middle, turn off our Miss Marvel. That's another thing that gets us. A rule where you can't cannonball. I'm trying to think if I have any winning lines here. I don't think so. That was a really hard play to beat. Better than the left, we were actually completely fine, which is a bit annoying. So we lost a pretty bad 50 50 there. So we're plus 
seven here. Or plus eight here. Like this is an interesting idea. Just loses to so much. Might lose to like everything. I think it only wins if they have something that's less than five power. Oh, this could win. Mm, it doesn't beat that. They had played a big card there, though. We win. But I don't know what big cards they would play unless it was a Red Hulk. Rarely. Maybe I should have thought about that, because the only card they'd play that's 10 or more almost certainly would be Sentry, and they wouldn't play Sentry. So maybe that was just an incorrect play overall. I should have left, obviously. Only 10 in this deck? I mean, you don't know their deck. Are you that person's best friend? I think almost certainly you're right. You know, the only thing would be like Red Hulk. But only Sith deal in absolutes. That Sandman not going left really hurts, man. Dude, Hollow going middle sucks too. Makes Miss Marvel really bad. Um, I think we just have to praise. We're really off curve right now. We can't sand man even if we get it. I think we just have to praise. Praise they don't go middle. Marvel turn five because Dream Dimension. Yeah, so I could just Gladiator and then Marvel. It's probably better. Probably better. Did work out. Just like we drew it up. I can't play anything left, man. I forgot about this interaction. Bounce deck of the day, we get Dream Dimension and then don't even draw Sandman. Jesus Christ. Escaped. Only card in their deck. went all bad yeah not, not much good much good what a mind filling sacred timeline Everyone's favorite freaking deck. Hella. It is hella. Got you sitting thinking, what the heck? Opponent snapped. Oh, what vibe? 
probably leave. But I am arrogant at my core. Her hell is not even that juiced up right now. Very light, light on the hella juice. Spam it first so you don't pull into altar, then I won't fill it. It doesn't matter if I pull an altar if they're a hella deck. Hmm, what's their plan? Chaos, maybe? Sandman really does nothing against this deck. This just I was so mad at this is magic. I mean, I think there's a world we win this. I think it's worth going for. In their Hella, they have Red Hulk and Black Cat. And then we have no idea what's going on with Dracula. So if we kill this, we're going to be at... 10, right? 10's a pretty bad number to be at. That means anything that lands right beats us. I think we have to be on the nothing lands right and we win the uh, timeline. If that's the case, we're going to have to do some level of fighting middle. I Do we just lose always? Might be the thing. Might just always lose. If no hell, there's a I think there's a chance with Hella, it's slim. gets us. Minions to me. Blade Hell always gets us, unfortunately. Unless it's a one power card. <laughs> we could have beaten No Blade Hella. No Blade Hella, there's a lot of... I mean, we could have won that one if they had, you know, uh, still a Jubilee in their hand or something. I think the snap always indicates that they have Hella. Blade Hell is very hard to beat though. So I needed Altar of Death there. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to get Blade Hella. And then it's a much more achievable win. While well, still very hard to get. Plus, if they couldn't do Blade Hella, that means the Blade was going to be stuck in their hand. They probably would have played it the turn prior if that was the case. Lots of ifs, ands, and buts. As always, the best play was just to retreat. Maybe even retreating when they snapped, almost certainly. Knowing that that's a tough matchup and Alter of Death makes it even harder. I have nothing if not... Uh... Live a little dangerously, you know? Obvious. I did have Rouge in an initial version of this. I wonder if I want to find a way to get Rouge back in. 
I do not want to deal with Elysium, I don't think. I think they can take advantage of Elysium more than I can. Back and wing. Classic combo. Fun card to get out. Knowing there's no shawarmas is, is pretty nice. Uh, they're ahead. Uh, let's just go keep going all in middle here. We kind of don't have very many good follow-ups available to us. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Sandman would, of course, be best top deck. To mess with their Dracula stuff. Ask and you shall receive chat. Just that simple. Okay, let's set this up properly because we, we messed this up last time. Um, Their play could be Modok. And then they're just relying on a top deck the final turn. That would suck. Their play could be playing stuff to set up Modok next turn. That's also pretty bad. What about where the Sandman lands? It can't go right. Right would be ideal. Oh, it can't go right. I think we have to contest this Dracula. They haven't discarded their APOC yet. Strong guy. Okay, so now they need either Hellcow or... They need either Hellcow... Or Modok to finish off left. Does it matter if they Modok on 5 or 6 because no Swarm? But it doesn't matter. I have to imagine they have Modok, right? I think it just cooks us. They have to have Modok and Apoc. I don't think I can play around that. Two cards left in the deck, not playing around a combination of two is correct. Not positive though. The only, the only problem is right is that they often leave if they don't have access to a way to beat that. Yeah, the strong guy couldn't decide, man. He was going up and down. Uh you know I'm gonna end stream. I'm gonna insane losing skid. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave before this keeps going. Thank you all so much, so much for being here. It's getting very late for me anyway. We were, we were at about like 55% was the last time I checked win rate. And I think we've lost nine of the last eight games or something like that. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow as I send you out here. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have Tucker on the stream for a bit. Uh, so if you like Tucker, which yeah, should, he's a really cool guy. Uh, make sure to come back tomorrow. I think he's going to be on the stream around like 11.30 my time. Uh, dude, no one's online. Doesn't make sense. L lucky, lucky Raven Hearthstone. Getting the big raid right as he starts. Have fun over at Raven's channel. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Uh, we'll see you with a video tomorrow and a stream in the evening. Have fun over on Raven's side. Thank you all so much for being here. Catch you later. Peace.